Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I'm here on a new PC setup, and so today we're gonna be doing a new tutorial on how to do fireflies. This isn't really new, in case you haven't kept up CG Matter or Default Cube. I uh, did a tutorial on this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it slightly differently. So if we press play, we see the fireflies kind of flying everywhere, and uh, some are going faster than others they're not all going the same speed and some are uh, are going a bit further while others are more calm uh if we are to check it out we just see that it's a drawn curve so i could just draw my curve out and have fireflies appear i've already used this in a scene which i'll show just a little snippet of it uh right now you can see how this can add a visual element to your scene of uh, just some movement. Uh, let's check out what the node network looks like now. Uh, it, it looks big, but it's simple, I promise. Starts with uh, the curve data, but we build out our uh, our fireflies using icospheres and moving those points around. So I'll get to explaining more down the line. This is just to start out. And so without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we are in a new scene. And in this scene, we are going to, as always, A to select everything and delete delete it all. So let's set up a simple plane to start out. This is just so we have something to draw on. And now we're going to import a Bezier curve. It can, it can be a path or a circle or whatever the point is. You're going to enter edit mode and delete it. Now you just have the curve, which we are going to rename the fireflies. Open up and geometry nodes, and let's add in our first node network. We now have an, uh, a curve with nothing in it. If we hit tab, there's this draw tool. You can use a curve pen or whatever, but as you can see, this is kind of like free forming it. You have to hit surface here, so it takes into account the geometry surface. That's what you want for fireflies or really anything that's you want to uh, put on a path. So let's just draw a quick path here. Okay, now we got a path. All right, so where do we start first? First, we start by not not the curve. We have to create our fireflies first. So to create our fireflies, we look for an icosphere. Uh, in, in case you were wondering how I did that, it was control shift click. Uh, you need to have um, node wrangler enabled that is a default add-on in blender just go to edit preferences add-ons and search node wrangler and there it is so control shift left click and it'll preview uh the the node that you have selected so let's have this here for now next thing we're going to need to do is to create our fireflies let's distribute points on the face and these are these points are going to be our firefly these points are just points. They have no geometry or no instances yet. So if we just go into rendered mode, which uh, you'll see we see nothing. Even in material mode, we see nothing. So in order for us to give this something, we need an instance on it. So let's instance on um, points. And what are we going to instance? Well, another icosphere. You could just duplicate this one it could be a sphere or a cube or whatever you want it could even be your own mesh but i use an icosphere because it's low poly so let's connect that up into the instance and these right away are huge so we can lower it down by you know a set number here and they'll all be to the same scale but i kind of want to randomize that since you know some fireflies are slightly bigger than others so with that we use a random value node plug that into the scale 0 0.01 is the minimum and 0 0.03 is the maximum. And now we have different variation of fireflies. You could also randomize a rotation if you want. It's not going to make that much of a difference as because when they're when they're moving, you're not going to be able to see them. Or for the sake of this tutorial, I'll randomize it. And now we have our fireflies, but press play and they're not moving. How do we get them to move? That's simple. Use our set position node. Set position basically tells where uh, you want 
certain points to move to. So you can move based on the normal zone, based on uh, of of a texture, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a no noise texture. Switch that to 4D so we have a bit more control over it. And we need to put in this color into the offset. Right away, you saw it jumped to our uh, our right, top right. And that's because noise really only moves in the positive direction. So if we are to see here from the top view, we see it move from the center to the Y positive, X positive. So how do we fix that? Well, that's easy. Not through that. We add a vector math node set to add and subtract 0 0.5. Now it's back to our center. OK. And now what do we do? Well, we want to animate this. So how do we animate that? Uh, the W slider. We can add a uh, it was something like that. It's like slash frame. Yeah. And it will take every frame as you see 66 66 and then we can you know multiply that frame by a, another value or divide that frame by another value however problem is you would have to enter this node every single time or have it out here in the modifiers and if you import it to another a file it might not carry over so what I like to do is I like to have a bit more mathematical control. So we look for our scene time node, which has a frame options, and plug that into the W. We add a math node and set that to divide. If we start to divide, you'll notice they are slowing a lot more every time. So if we divide this by 100, we see, OK, these are now much more controlled. However, they're all moving at the same speed. We want some of them to move faster than others and, you know, some slow down, etc. So what do we do? Random value node to rescue. Our max value, let's say, is 400. Min value is 200. Plug that in. And now you see some of them, like this one here, is moving much faster than others. That one over there is moving a lot faster than this one here. And that's how you randomize their points uh, based on the scene time. All right, but now we still sort of have like a sphere. How do we get like more, more chaos, I guess? Well, that's simple. First of all, let's duplicate this add node and plug in this normal which already gives us a bit more of an expansion. However, it doesn't really do it for me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to duplicate this again, but switch it to scale. Based on the scale, it will uh, judge the size you might want to play again with your random values again, or with you know your scale here of the texture. If we scale this up, it's going to make them go faster. So there we go. We're going to leave it at 5 for now. And with that, we created our first Firefly batch. Now, if you remember my original scene, I had a, like three lists. And that is because if we continue down this path, uh, I'm going to quickly uh, sh show what happens. So, And now we put a curve to points. This is going to put points on our curve. And we're going to instance on these points the very mesh that we just created. So you'll see that our points are now very, very small. So we kind of want to, that's because we duplicated uh, this node and I didn't scale this back up. So there we go. So as you can see, they're all doing the same motion. There's no variation. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to create more variations. Luckily, that's pretty damn easy. Grab a bunch of these, and we're going to duplicate them. Now, at this point, you can create a group node. And then in this group node, you can, you know, do the values that you're going to change. So in this case, it's going to be our min max, our scale, maybe the density. 
and maybe this vector scale which I will have to rename so I will go into here and call it vector scale tab out and there we go now we have a single uh, node group that will help us so I'm gonna call this fireflies and we're gonna create another instance of these fireflies let's uh let's do a viewer node so we can see if we decrease our min max for this one we're gonna see these are much faster than these but not have as many and so now what do we do well we join them if you don't know what I just did I just hit control shift right click and I merge them to both by uh, dragging that little green whip between them and it'll automatically create a join geometry node which if viewed together will get both into the same uh, field now we're gonna create one more and now we have a whole mess well now if we look at our instance why cuz uh, it's trying to instance the wrong thing so let's go back onto the points and this goes into the instance there you go so now if we look at our instance we're gonna see the same issue they're all moving the same way that is luckily a very simple fix all we have to do pick instances all right you might think well why is there so little fireflies I thought this was supposed to be a lot of them and that's because we have our counts to 10 uh, I'll keep 400 there are currently 400 points on this and you see different segments now if you don't want if you don't want a too much repetition like I notice this one here and this one here are the same another thing you can do is randomize these values And now you see they're all randomized as they should be. Now if we can quickly go into material view, I'm going to give a, ma a dark material to this floor because that is blinding. We see we have our fireflies, but they're not glowing. How do we get them to glow? Easy. Give them a, a glowing material. Emission. We need to set the material. Set material. And we're going to pick our emission and done. Now we can uh, quickly pop into the actual re render, change the world color to black, and we have our fireflies. Another a thing I would do, you will see these weird shadows. That's because it's calculating the shadows of the icospheres. You most likely won't want shadows. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the material settings here and shadow mode set to none. That way you avoid getting those weird clips and now we have a firefly scene that is completely editable by curves so we can throw these curves wherever we want press play and they're animated by the timeline there's not much else so I hope this has been somewhat helpful for you I know it went on a bit long but I'll edit it down <laughs> um, thank you I hope you enjoyed like and subscribe have fun